Okay. It is time to watch the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer 1, is what they've called it on the channel. Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer 1. They really just went right in there with it. <laughs> this did get leaked. I did not watch any of the leaks. Frankly, I think the leaks suck. We're very anti-leak. Uh, they had to release it a little bit early. Um, it's a huge bummer. I don't know why anybody would try to leak something literally a day in advance just to take it away from a publisher, but here we are. So, what am I expecting from this trailer? I made a video maybe two weeks ago, three weeks ago, that was effectively me saying, let Rockstar cook. I think they are one of the goats. They are one of the greatest game studios of all time. One of if not the best that we have. Um, and it is always worth waiting for them. That is my stance. I will wait for them as long as they need me to wait for them. I will be here. Um, I think that they are just in a league of their own. And a lot of that, which I'll link to that video in case you want to watch it, is because they get their own funding, which is like such a unique position in the games industry. Like very, very, very unique. I'm expecting to see some impressive new AI in terms of the way uh, NPCs function in the open world. I think that that's something that Rockstar specifically really iterates on very well, um, which for the record, we're not anti-AI in the games industry. We're just anti certain kinds of AI, but not all of it. We use AI all the time. AI can be good in a lot of cases. I think this is set in uh, Miami. Um, it seems like a, vice, a new Vice City. Obviously not actual Florida, but that's what I'm expecting. Probably a much larger map than we had in Vice City, which makes me also expect good music. I feel like that's like such a core part of Vice City. Very, very, very important. Updated animation. I would like to see some updated combat. That is the only thing that I think that I don't like 10 out of 10 love from a Rockstar game. Whatever, let's do it. Let's go. Okay, tell me if the audio is okay. Lucia. Do you know why you're here? Bad luck, I guess. Dude, I'm so excited. Have goosebumps. Oh my god. I haven't even done anything and I'm like, oh fuck. Okay. I'm not gonna do this. It's gonna annoy people. I'll play through the whole thing. But holy shit, the nightclub. That's probably a cutscene, but video games are so bad at nightclubs. Cyberpunk is like the best. Most are absolutely terrible. Let me, let's, okay, let's just watch through the whole trailer first. We're only 32 seconds in and then come back around. The way she thought it should be. Yeah, we were desperate then. The hair physics. The twerk physics. That's interesting. Well, look who's back. Hmm. The only way we're gonna get through this is by sticking together, being a team. I still have goosebumps. Trust? Trust. Is that Troy? Okay. So, um, clearly just a bunch of shots of GTA adjacent things happening in, in this. Um, not a huge indication of story, which is totally fine. It's literally a first trailer. I expect we'll get more at the Game Awards. I don't actually know. Um, but obviously a huge focus on vehicle variety in every single shot. Like even this, there is such a specific focus on vehicle variety. If you actually go to a beach, you never really see this much activity. So they're being like, yeah, we got sharks. We got pods of dolphins. Oh, we got speedboats. This is like a little yacht down the bottom, all obviously very GTA Online adjacent stuff. Um, very specific about the amount of vehicles and the amount of wildlife, which seems like a massive step up from previous games. A lot of wildlife. I feel like there's also a pretty massive variety of NPC types here. Like, I would think that these are all different body types. So they got some, you got some good ass work done here. I'm trying to see if any of these two NPCs even look like they're wearing the same thing. Those aren't the same. I was going to say two blue pairs of pants. Nope. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's kind of cut off, but he's got a camera and he's taking a photo of a woman bending over. Lovely. The vibes are very Miami. That's so funny. Um, I'm not seeing a single repeated NPC. Maybe this. That is probably the same bikini all the way up here as right here. Um, but that's something that I think Rockstar is like excellent at that I know that they patented new tech for, or at least that was a leak. I'm actually, I can't say I know. I don't know if that was confirmed. That, uh, you know, it, it, it was, uh, I think GTA 4, it wasn't even GTA 5, where it's like at the time revolutionary that if it rained in the city, people would pull out an umbrella or they would like put whatever they were holding over their head. Sometimes like it was a bag or it was a newspaper. And I believe what they're trying to do, which again is AI. Sometimes we like AI in video games. Again, every game has AI, not anti-AI in video games, only certain kinds where they're trying to like combine a mood with a reaction. So you will have maybe the same response to rain, uh, but that you would have someone swear while doing it or someone be placid while doing it, you know, just an expansion on that that previous tech. Um, also noticing the amount of sky vehicles. This looks like a little drone back here. Let me, that there, some sort of drone. Probably all things are gonna be able to fly. Not sure about the Qantas ass looking Boeing up there. Sea helicopter, a lot of options, a lot of options. The city looks pretty big, but it's kind of hard to say. Super impressed by the hair physics. Hair is really, really hard. Again, a lot of vehicles. And Miami's like, it's a really interesting map too. It looks so populated. So populated. Damn. Oh, that looks beautiful. This hair got me. That's crazy. Also, this would indicate maybe you could live up here. A lot of focus on partying. Suits the vibe of Miami. It does look mad dense in the background. I mean, again, they've always got multiple vehicles oh rockstar dude they're just so fucking good <laughs> like i get so excited about a rockstar game and i again i made a video about it we don't need to do this again because <laughs> i already done it they're just so uniquely positioned to spend the most money anyone has ever spent on a video game ever in a way that nobody else is like not even close because they make so much money it's oh it just doesn't exist there's no other game studio that would really ever be allowed to spend as much money as Rockstar consistently spends. They always break their own records on the most expensive game ever made. And it's only because of the way that they've done GTA Online at this point. It's nuts. Not even Valve. They don't make games. <laughs> Star Citizen isn't out. <laughs> Doesn't count. Just, ugh. So, this is the next thing that I wanted to talk about. This trailer has a huge focus on whatever this is. Otherwise, you wouldn't have so many cuts of this like fake social media. And I wonder if that is going to be something to do with them changing Rockstar Social Club. I think they recently made some changes to it. I think I saw that in news headlines. I'm wondering if there is going to be some sort of in-game version. You know how they've like recently been using phones like in GTA 5. You actually pull up your phone, be able to do things. I wonder if there's going to be a focus on like an in-game social media. And maybe that is the bridge to online services. I could be, I could see myself getting a little concerned about that. I want the, the single player experience to be a single player experience. Please let it be a single player experience. Please, please. That's, I really, really, really want that. But maybe there's a version. I mean, there's such a focus on like photography, selfies, all that. Maybe there is a version of, of sharing through the social club on a I don't know. I would really like to find out more information about that because it concerns me a little bit. <laughs> Why that? I mean, it's very unique. <laughs> Thrillbilly Mud Club? Well, look who's back. The only way we're gonna get through this. And she's our protagonist, I assume is by sticking together. But there's probably gonna be something gang related, as is very common for Rockstar. Trust? Trust. I have questions, which is always how I want it to be, to be honest. Never want all my questions answered. It looks real good. It looks real good. It just makes me 
so excited for another Rockstar game. That's the my biggest takeaway. So yeah, clearly we need more info. I am so fine with waiting. I don't need any of it right now. It's okay. Uh, coming out in 2025, apparently. Also cool with that. Um, like I said, I'll wait as long as Rockstar needs. I know people are like, oh, it'll be delayed. All the games are always delayed. Fine. Delay whatever you... Delay things as long as you need to delay them. I have no problem with you doing that whatsoever. Go for it. 